another technique which is these days synonymous with text analytics is sentiment analysis. With sentiment analysis, we're trying to infer whether a person is happy or sad from the text that they've written. Most sentiment analysis techniques look for words that indicate this. So angry or annoyed would, would indicate that it was a negative sentence, where delighted might indicate it's a positive sentence. This is a type of cl text classification model. And you can think of this like your confidence score. Often sentiment analysis will provide a minus one for a very negative sentence, or positive one for a very positive sentence, or anywhere in between. Unfortunately, sentiment analysis isn't as accurate as you might hope. Research has suggested that even the best sentiment analysis tools out there only achieve somewhere in the region of 65 to 70% accuracy. This is because of a whole range of different issues that make understanding text very difficult for a computer. So the type of sentence that we might see a lot in a survey, I used to have a caring manager. The person who's written that almost certainly is saying that because they no, now no longer have a caring manager. Whereas the text sentiment tool would, say, would look at the word manager and see caring and say this is a positive thing where actually human interpretation is negative. The other complication is that when we look at studies where multiple people have reviewed the sentiment of, the, of a statement, we find that humans can't agree on this. So whereas 60 or 70% accuracy may not feel a lot, it's actually not too far off human performance. Slightly more sophisticated than sentiment analysis is tone or emotion analysis, which is frequently being seen in HR applications. If we think that sentiment analysis is a difficult task, and it is, then determining emotion from text is even harder, and therefore the accuracy is likely to go down. Both of these techniques work well or work better in instances where the text is longer. But on short text, such as we'll often find in employee surveys, trying to understand emotion or sentiment is very difficult. There are tools that can get you started very quickly in something like emotion detection. IBM have an API called a Tone Analyzer, which is simple to use, can, a, can be integrated into an R or Python workload, and will provide a score on four different tones in the way that somebody writes their text.